Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akin, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. I say shout out And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out today of uh, March 13, 2023. And this is a uh, sit down lesson, like I mentioned again, from the Wall Street Journal, last updated. March 13, 2023 at 5.33 p.m. And it reads, uh, the stock market today, Dow Jones fall, NASDAQ rise to cap turbulent session in today's development. Because keep in mind, I was during out the whole day today, I was watching the markets, you know, you know, with the uh, three day, uh, which is 48 hours of the uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, collapse and it affected other banks as well too and this is potentially might have been the worst bank collapse of a bank company since 2008 and uh, I just want to add a note to that in the stock in the markets of the Dow Jones been up and down and it throughout the whole day it had been, it been having mixed reactions of uh, stocks going up and down it was like in the hundreds, like 112, 165. Then it went down to like 28, 15, 30, 40. You know, so it, it, the stocks was kind of mixed, mixed reactions up and down today. As later on, later on in the, later on in the afternoon, after the markets close, after the three o'clock bell ring of the stock exchange, as I seen the uh, markets once again about three hours later as i see now it went down to like negative 90 90 uh 25 i believe of the dow jones so i just want to add a note to that and this is a uh, today's development it says the u.s stocks ended mix monday capping a turbulent session at the regulators move to limit the impact of silicone's valley bank collapse Right, and I did a sit-down lesson as well, too, about, you know, what the recent Sil Silicon Valley Bank collapse within uh, the past 48 hours. And it kind of, the markets kind of affect globally over there in Europe as well, too. So keep that in mind as well, too. I want to add a note to that as well, too. And it says the U.S. stock market, the U.S. stocks ended mixed Monday capping a turbulent session at the regulators move to the limit the impact of silicones valley's bank collapse the dow jones and the s p 500 fell the nasdaq rose and as several bank stocks plummet plunged i meant to say while investors rushed to the safety of government bonds sending yield and sharp lower it says one of the biggest stock market losers was First Republic. Despite an agreement for an additional financing from J.P. Morgan and Chase, and in a late Monday twist, the journal reported that the regulators plans to take another crack at the auctioning Silicon Valley. So yeah, as we see today, uh, the stock markets have uh, mixed reactions throughout the whole day today. You know, amending the 48-hour uh, collapse of the uh, Silicon Bank as the uh, markets uh, around the world was affected by that as well too. Even though, you know, uh, had uh, Silicon Valley customers to remain calm that everything is going to be all right. The president even made that announcement. And the uh, Secretary of Treasury of uh, Yellen, she made that statement as well, too. They are not going to do a bailout. Uh, everything is going to be back to normal, you know, in that peace and safety uh, mode. 
You can read that in 1 Thessalonians 5, 3 of the Holy Scriptures for when they shall say peace and safety. So they was in that mindset. But other than that, you had, you know, you had the uh, stock markets have uh, went into the red and the negatives right along with the S&P 500 as well, too. The only one that increased was the NASDAQ. So with that, this was just a quick sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out that the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 failed today as the NASDAQ, NASDAQ composite rose uh, somewhat solid gain, amending the uh, Silicon Valley uh, bank collapse as it affected the uh, markets globally over there in Europe and recently Asia as of last week as well too. So with that, you know, I just want to add a note to that. So with that, once again, I hope for this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his words with the sincerity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, this uh, juice. Oh, okay. That juice that I uh, bought from the store. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she back on the couch over there again. Yeah, I left there that daytime a couple of nights. At night, I put her ass up. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's a green neck and she up. Right. I get out of the box left. Oh, I took out of the box. I put her ass back in the box here. Right. Put her ass back in the box. Put her ass back in the box. Yeah. You know, she ain't real there, and I'm living it. One of them things. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'll blame you. Uh, so lucky for that. I was talking to my OG. But once again, uh, uh, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor too. To Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Bukhar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. Until next time, I will say Shalom.